What's up, YouTube? This your boy, B Boy Facts Shot TV, and tonight I'll go on my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please watch the full video before you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications to notify when I premiere a brand new video going live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. Let's talk about SmackDown. Now, SmackDown was a good show, and it gets a 10 out of 10. All right. WWE SmackDown kicks off with the lights going out and Bray Wyatt walking down to the ring. All right, he gets he gets in the ring and introduces himself. He says he doesn't think of himself as a good person. All through, he does try really hard, but when he looks back at all of the horrible things he had had to do to get to where he is today, he doesn't regret much. Bray Wyatt says last week he did something that he does re regret and he wants to apologize. He says he attacked the cameraman as he is talk talking uh, out comes L.A. Knight. He mocks Bray Wyatt and says he has to be kidding. L.A. LA Knight calls Bray Wyatt the monster of mind games. He says Wyatt can't even finish a sentence before talking talking it out. On a cameraman, um, but he is concerned about Bray Wyatt paying paying one of his goons wearing a Uncle Howie outfit and attacking him. L.A. Knight tells Bray Wyatt he used to be something. He used to be a force. The fans chant "You suck" to L.A. Knight as he stands on on the ring apron. He tells Bray Wyatt all uh, all uh, he has proven himself. To be is a fraud, a broken down loser. He says the Royal Rumble is soon and it will be his first Royal Rumble and he wants to make it a special one. LA Knight gets in the ring and tells Bray Wyatt that he will take him and put him out of his misery. Bray Wyatt calls LA Knight a little idiot. He asks him who he thinks he is t talking to. Bray Wyatt says he has been very patient and he knows he could have ended this any time he wanted. But he thinks LA Knight is right. It is time for Bray Wyatt to remind LA Knight and the rest of the world how cool he can be when he feels feels like it. Bray Wyatt says he accepts the, his challenge at the World Rumble. The lights go out. And a crypt, encrypted message air saying to embrace the dark. Sinister music hits, and out comes Uncle Howie wearing a black leather jacket and a hat. He walks down to the ring. He takes his hat off and places it on the ring apron. Uncle Howie gets on the ring apron and into the ring. Uncle Howie stands between LA Knight and Bray Wyatt. He turns to Bray Wyatt as both men are face to face. He stands next to Bray Wyatt and then look at LA Knight. The music goes off and the music goes off as Uncle Howie hits Bray Wyatt with Sister Abigail. LA Knight leaves the ring and asks what is going on. Uncle Howie leaves the ring, grabs his hat, plays it on his head, and starts to walk to the back. That was a good segment by um Bray Wyatt. This was a good segment. All right, we cut to we we cut backstage to Sami Zayn walking and he knock on the bloodline's door. The door opens and out comes Paul Heyman as they hug. Paul Heyman asks Sami Zayn how is Hanukkah was was as Sami tells him as good as his red 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 Ron Madden. Sami Zayn asks if Roman Reigns is there to speak with him. Heyman tells him he was talking to talking to Roman Reigns about his pledge of loyalty to the bloodline that he made last week. Paul Heyman talks about the passion he shows and that Roman Reigns is proud of him. He tells Sami Zayn that, that the concept of Roman Reigns standing in the middle of the ring and the entire crowd is chanting Sami is not the right look. Sami Zayn asks, Heyman, if Roman says something, Heyman tells him no, and he doesn't have to. Life on the island of Revelancy is staying three steps ahead at all times. Paul Heyman looks at his cell and t look at his cell and tells Sami Zayn to go speak with Roman. 
So we go to commercial break. So we get um um Seamus with Butch and Rich Holland versus Solo Sequoia with the with the Usos. This match was this match this match was great. Yeah, this this match was great, but it was just a copy and paste. The match was great. That's all I gotta say. The bell rings and we are on the way. A headlock by by Seamus as Solo sends him to the ropes. A shoulder block by both men and not one of them moves. Seamus with an arm bar, but Solo with a right hand. Seamus to the ropes in a shoulder block, but again, not a shoulder block again. And, and not a shoulder block, but again, not one of them moves. A right hand by Solo followed by a clothesline. Solo glows as Seamus hits him with a right hand and uppercut. Seamus slams him into the turnbuckle. Right hand by Seamus, and he close on Solo to the outside of the ring. Solo grabs a steel chair as the Usos try to calm him down. Um, back from the break, um, Solo with a headlock in the middle of the ring. Sheamus with right hands, but Solo with a Samoan drop. Solo runs towards Sheamus, but Sheamus with a big, with a big close on. Sheamus with a kick onto Solo, followed by a power slam, and Solo runs rolls. Out onto the ring apron. Um, Seamus grabs Solo and hits him with the 10 beats of the battering. Seamus goes for the bro kick, but Solo hits him with a super kick as Seamus stays on his feet and hits him with a knee to the face. He goes for the cover, but Solo kicks out. Seamus, Seamus with the Irish curse backbreaker. He grabs Solo and gets him hits and gets him in the Texas clover leaf. Jay tries to push the bottom road towards Solo and that distracts the referee. Jimmy grabs Solo and drags him towards the bottom rope. Rich Holland and Bush grab Jimmy and Jay and fight on the outside. Seamus climbs the top the t- climbs climbs the top the t- the top and jumps onto the Uso. Solo grabs Seamus on the outside and slams him into the turnbuckles. He throws Seamus into the ring. Solo hits him with the Samoan spike and goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Solo Sequoia. Great match, but rinse and repeat. From, it's just a rinse and repeat, but great match, by the way. All right, the Usos gets in the ring and attacks Seamus. Butch, Butch and Rich Holland get on the ring apron as the Usos hit them with, with super kicks. Solo walks to the outside and grabs a steel chair. He placed it around the neck of Seamus, and Seamus is down in a corner. Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre music hits, and out, and out comes McIntyre to the ring. He hits Jay with a with a big boot and headbutts. Jim, headbutts Jimmy. Drew McIntyre gets in the ring and is face to face with Solo Sequoia. He closes on Solo Sequoia to the outside. Jimmy goes for a super kick on. On Drew, but Drew ducks and hits him with the Claymore. So we go to commercial break. Um, so we get the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey uh, versus Raquel Rodriguez. This match wasn't bad. This was this match wasn't bad, but this was the but this was the best um, match that Ronda Rousey had. But this match wasn't bad. All right, the bell rings. The, yeah, the bell rings. We are underway. Um, right hands to right hands by Ronda Rousey onto Raquel, but Raquel hits her with a shoulder tackle. Raquel lifts Ronda up, spins her, and slams her onto the mat. She goes for the cover, but Ronda kicks out. Ronda rolls to rolls to the outside of the ring. Raquel to the outside. She hits Ronda with a right hand and lifts her up and throws her into the ring. She throws Ronda across the ring, but uh, yeah, she she throws Ronda across the ring and Raquel hits her. With the big splash, she goes for a spear in a corner, but Ronda moves out of the way, and Raquel hits shoulder first and falls to the outside of the ring. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Ronda Rousey with a submission in the middle of the ring, but Raquel reverses it. Both women to the to their feet, and Raquel with a right hand. She goes for another, but Ronda Rousey with a right hand. Ronda Rousey throws Raquel and goes for the clover. I'm sorry, goes for the cover, but Raquel kicks out. 
um, Ronda Rousey with a submission onto Raquel's left arm. But Raquel lifts her up on her shoulders and slams her onto the mat. Raquel with a clothesline. Raquel hits Ronda Rousey with a clothesline. Using her bad arm, she goes for the clo- cover, but Ronda kicks out. Raquel lifts Ronda up, but Ronda gets Raquel in a armbar. Raquel gets out of it and reverses it into a Boston Crab. Ronda reverses it and reverses into an ankle lock, but Raquel kicks her away. Ronda runs towards Raquel, but Raquel slams her with a flapjack. She lifts Ronda up, but Ronda grabs her by the arm, and both women fall to the outside of the ring. Raquel lifts Ronda up and slams her to the ring apron. She, like Raquel should have slammed Ronda Rousey on the table. That would been that would been epic right there. But I just had to put it out there. So we go to commercial break. Bathroom commercial with Quell with a with a far away slam. She lifts Ronda up for, for lifts Ronda up for the power bone, but Ronda with a sleeper hole in the middle of the ring. In the middle of the um middle of the ring. Raquel slams Ronda into the corner. Ronda stays on her back. Raquel runs face first towards the tower of turnbuckle and ducks and ducks as Ronda hits the turnbuckle's face first. Raquel with a big boot. Shayna gets on a ring apron and Raquel kicks her down. Raquel with a spinning crow screw elbow off the second rope. She goes for the cover, but but um Shayna plays Ronda's foot on the bottom ropes. The referee argues with Shayna. Raquel lifts her lifts Ronda up and places her on the top rope. Raquel climbs the second rope and plays Ronda on her shoulders. Um uh, Ronda with elbows to the face. Uh, Ronda with an arm bar on the second rope. Raquel falls back onto the mat and taps and taps out. Um the winner is still your SmackDown women's champion, Ronda Rousey. Okay, Shayna Bass and Ronda Rousey are in the ring. Show Flair music hits, and it's a new theme, and she is in new gear as she walks out to the ring. Now, I did not see this one coming. Show Flair returning to SmackDown tonight. I did not see this one coming. But anyway, Ronda Rousey tells Charlotte, yeah, Ronda Rousey tells Charlotte that her rehab must be good, must be doing good, and she must want a match at the Royal Rumble. Charlotte Flair tells her no. She is challenging her tonight. Shayna tries to talk Ronda out of it as the crowd cheers. Ronda Rousey plays the title between them both. Um, as between them both and tells Charlotte she is in luck because she is feeling spicy. Ronda gives the title to the referee. The bell rings. All right, so we get the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. And this match was quick. Charlotte Flair hits her with a big boot. She goes for the cover, but Ronda kicks out. Shayna gets on the on the ring apron, and Charlotte kicks her kicks her down. Charlotte Charlotte Flair hits her with a spear, but Ronda reverses it into an armbar. But Charlotte reverses that into a into a cover, and she gets the pin. The winner and your new WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Now Charlotte Flair is a babyface. She was hugging the crowd and all that stuff. But she was a baby face now. But Charlotte Flair won the SmackDown Women's Champion. And I'm not even mad about this. I'm glad that Ronda Rousey lost the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm glad. Lawrence is not Lawrence is not Ronda Rousey. But I'm happy that Charlotte Flair won the SmackDown Women's Champion. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, Char- Charlotte Flair celebrates with the fans and walks back to the st- to the stage. Um we cut backstage as the bloodline and Sami Zayn are backstage. Sitting in, sitting and laughing. Sami Zayn tells him that he wants to make sure that they're on the same page. He asks him if the brother, if if it bothered him that last week the fans were chanting, chanting um Sami Zayn. Paul Heyman gets worried about Roman Reigns. Take a few seconds and tells him it didn't bother him. Roman Reigns tell him it's going to be a great night. Sami Zayn tells him it's going to be a great night for them. Okay, so we go to commercial break. The New Day are backstage with Hit Row, and um, Hit Row, MMM, um, Ricochet, and Mad Cop Moss. They all joke jokes about Top Dollar being uh, unable to jump over the top rope. Ricochet says, "At least now he knows it's not that as easy as he as he makes it look." Um, Top Dollar pushes Ricochet as they as they all break up, break it up. 
All right, so we go to commercial break. So Imperium are in the ring, and they talk about how 2022 has been the year of Gunther. We see a video clip of Gunther's year. We cut back to the ring, and out comes Braun Strowman. He gets in the ring and, and asks, for a, asks for a microphone. Um, Strowman tells him he was not in Gunther's video, which means he has no beating him has not beaten him. Maybe there isn't a man on SmackDown that can't defeat him. But what about a monster? Go- Gunther laughs and turns his back. Showman says he is not asking for asking him for a title opportunity. He is telling him Captain Vince C attacks Showman as he throws them out throws them to the outside. Gunther go yeah, Gun- Gunther goes for a chop on Strowman but Strowman blocks it and hits Gunther with a clothesline, Strowman with a Strowman Express, and he runs into Catherine Vinci. He runs towards Gunther, but he moves out of the way, and Strowman runs to the barricade. Gunther grabs a steel chair and hits Strowman with it across the back. Imperium holds Strowman, and Gunther hits him with another chair shot. They throw him into the steel steps. They throw Strowman back into the ring, and Gunther... And Gunther kicks him. Gunther with a submission as he targets Strowman's left arm. Out comes out comes WWE officials who try to break it up, but Gunther is not letting it go. Ricochet runs out with a steel chair as Gunther leaves the ring. This was a great promo by the Imperium. That was a great promo. So we go to commercial break. So we get the main event of the evening: John Cena and Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. Um, the match wasn't bad, but it was nothing special. N- n- not, the match wasn't bad, but nothing special happened. The bell rings. We are on the way. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn start the match. A close on by Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens gets back up and hits him with a right hand. A, a sent on to Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn falls to the ring apron. Sami Zayn hangs him up on the top rope. Sami Zayn goes for a suplex, but Kevin Owens reverses it, and, and he throws Sami Zayn on the top rope, and he falls back onto the mat. Sami Zayn is bleeding from the nose. Roman Reigns extends his hand to be t- tag in. Sami Zayn tags him in as the fans chant for John Cena. Kevin Owens looks at John Cena, but Roman Reigns hits him with a clothesline. Roman Reigns kicks Kevin Owens and slams him onto the mat. He goes for the cover, but Kevin Owens kicks out. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, Kevin Owens with a clothesline on Sami Zayn in the middle of the ring. Roman Reigns drags John Cena off the ring. Um, Abraham throws him into the barricade. As Kevin Owens was going for the tag, Sami Zayn hits John Cena with a huluba kick. On the outside, Sami Zayn gets back in the back in, and Kevin Owens hits him with a super kick. Kevin Owens with a with another super kick, and he hits Sami Zayn with a pop up power bomb. He goes for the cover, but Roman Reigns breaks it up. Roman Reigns with a right hands onto John Cena. Roman Reigns drags Sami Zayn to the corner, and Roman Reigns is tagged in. Roman Reigns for the Superman punch, but Kevin Owens moves and hits him with the super kick. Kevin Owens climbs to climbs the top rope and hits him with the frog splash. He goes for the cover, but Roman Reigns kicks out. Kevin Owens goes for a pop up power bomb, but Roman Reigns hits him with the Superman punch. He goes for the he goes for the spear, but Kevin Owens moves out of the way, and Roman Reigns hits his shoulder first onto the ring post. John Cena back on the ring apron. He is tagged in, and Roman Reigns tags Sami Zayn in. John Cena with a shoulder tackle. John Cena slams Sami Zayn onto the mat. John Cena looks at Roman Reigns and says, you can't see me. Roman Reigns gets in the ring, and John Cena slams him onto the mat. Kevin Owens is tagging the, sla- the simulation the simulatedly to the to simulatedly to do the you can't see me and five knuckle shuffle onto Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. Sami- John Cena hits Roman Reigns with the attitude adjustment. Kevin Owens hits Sami Zayn with the stunner. Kevin Owens goes for the pin, goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, John Cena and Kevin Owens. The the tag team match wasn't bad, but it was but but it wasn't special. And SmackDown goes off the air. But like I like I mentioned earlier, SmackDown was a great show and it was a ten out of ten. 
But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review and highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on SmackDown because SmackDown was a great show and, and it gets a 10 out of 10. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys fully watch this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to, to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And um and I will see you guys tomorrow when I go live on YouTube. So I will be streaming live on YouTube. And that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, this your boy B Boy Facts John TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Happy New Year. And uh and I love you guys within the YouTube community from the bottom of my heart, man. And um shout out to everybody that's watching this video, man. And um that's all I gotta say from here. Capture crew, capture kings, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.